Oh, Leon's back, I think. All right. I'm here. All right. Hello, everyone, <laughs> and welcome back to Storm King's Letter, episode 59. Yay! We're still alive. Yay! Yes, last time you all had an encounter with an Aboleth. Decided not to attack it. Instead, decided to betray the drow. Uh, you did manage to defeat them. Amazingly enough, uh, despite them having summoned demons and stuff. A couple of you went down, I believe, a couple times. But ultimately, you came out successful. And got some new toys. Yada yada. Actually, that's about all that happened. Yeah, pretty much. Guess in a long discussion with the uh, with the Abolith, and in a long fight with the Drow. And we bought some expensive wine and mutton dinners, and we partied. Yes. You know, basically, basically what happens when you almost die. Some of us a few times. Yeah, maybe we should go on vacation from our vacation. <laughs> no more portals. I know, we could join the militia! Alright everyone, it's been fun playing with you. Uh, we will not be here assuming. <laughs> <laughs> no. Anyway. You guys, I believe, had to wait, uh, your rooms here still. Bulchara had paid, uh, for a few days. Uh, three in total, I believe. Yes, and being down, you were down there for a little over a day. You came back, came back up, partied. And from there, we say it's the next day, so you'll still have like one day left to stay there if you want to. But. This should be the day that your friend, your good old friend, the gnome that you purchased the unsinking ship from, should be fixed today and should be ready to be picked up. <laughs> Um, I did not put the spell book in the inventory because uh, I believe Reed's uh, that. I mean, it's just, it's obviously for Reed, so it's probably just gonna go in his inventory. I'll check to see if he put it anywhere. He might have. He might not have. Maybe he took a like a an actual note. We'll, we'll see. But the. Yeah, so uh, we're awake now in the end. He does. He does have that in his inventory. Okay, good. Okay, good. Uh, I'm just uh, heading down from my from the room. Probably still a little sore from the other day. Because, <laughs> ow. It was nice sleeping on a nice bed. Yes. The rooms here are pretty, they're expensive, but they're pretty good. Is, uh, Polchara anywhere? Uh, I'll probably be talking to the bartender right now. It's like, so are any of your barrels for sale? Nah, lad. Oh. Hey. Where can I get some? Is there like some kind of wood carving guild or some kind of carpenter? Oh, yeah, definitely. You could probably find some over in the trade ward over to the east or the dock ward at the south. Ooh, I'm heading that way. Hey, that, that, that all works out. Probably smell like fish, though. And I don't gotta be pretty, just gotta be able to hold wine or beer. Well, that's up to you, then. 
Ah, oh, there you are, Polchara. Oh, howdy. Uh, I think it's about time to go get a ship. Oh yeah, I just want to pick up a barrel on the way there. Apparently the place that sells them is right by the dock. Well, I'm sure we can, uh, we can settle our, uh, settle our agreement with the, uh, gentleman and, uh, pick up some and store it on there. Oh, excellent. We're gonna make a killing in beer and ale. And wine. Uh, I think I got all my stuff out of my room. So, are we, are we setting out today? Uh, I mean, player-wise, sounds good, but we don't know what Leon and Reed and Badger want to do. I don't know. No. Leon! Where, ah. where, where's Leon? I just sitting at a table eating mud. Leon, you cool of heading out today? Gives no answer. He just eats mud. I, I think that's a solid yes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Honestly, I think uh, Reed's uh, going to be happy either way. Probably. Well, you never know. He's a strange one, isn't he? I'm going to say it because he's not here. Yeah, I know Badger's probably going to go to the pet. Want to go to the pets for one more time before we leave. I feel like she did that the other, like, turn the town time the other day. Down there again, because why the hell not? Oh no, do you want a mouse while we're down there, Ezra? <laughs> never, ne never thought about a pet mouse. Oh, it wouldn't be a pet, it, it, it'd serve a purpose. Either way, uh... The awkward silence. If, uh, <laughs> if, uh... Uh, I, I'm definitely not hearing any, like, objections towards leaving, leaving today. Doesn't sound like any. Yeah, I don't have any objections. I do have I do have a curiosity question though. What's all involved with being a familiar if I wanted one? Because I know uh, familiars are mainly like a wizard thing. Uh, at this point in the game, like you're asking me as a player. Yes. Because at this point in the game, the only way you could possibly get one is by taking the feat uh, Magic and Hate. You, you've missed all the uh, points where you could have got one as a warlock. He'd all, he could also attempt to multi-class into, like... Well, let me see. Hold on. Yeah, you'd have to have a 13 in intelligence uh, to multi-class into wizard. So, yeah, multi-classing into wizard or taking the feat magic and eights. Yeah, you can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, if you, if you go... <laughs> if you take your next level in Eldritch Knight... Really? <laughs> Instead of Battlemaster. Or Champion, or whatever the hell you're going to take. Actually, yeah, yeah I, think, I think Eldritchite is what I was uh, going to take anyways. Or you could also take... You could take the Feet Ritual Caster. That'd be the other way. Yeah. It was either uh, Eldritchite or... Uh, Eldritchite or Battlemaster. Hey, plus you get those two first level spell slots. But it does use your intelligence to cast them, so they'd be more like probably utility or something. Most likely, because I mean, like, 
I didn't like, really use familiar. spells outside of attack, so. Or or magic missile. That's, That's true. I could just learn. I could just take magic missile and never miss. It doesn't matter if I have a low intelligence. That's the, per that's the perfect Ezra spell. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yeah, but I have, I have no objections to heading out today. Or shield. Could learn shield. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Shield probably would be more useful. Well, you'd get three spells and uh, sh shield and... Uh... Eldritch Blasts are the two of the ones that qualify for those two uh, ones. And Fine Familiar can count as the one any type of spell. Anyway, back to the game. Uh... <laughs> but yeah, um, if, uh, if you're ready, Polchara, we can go ahead and uh, pay the man for the ship. Uh, but, uh, I just want to pick up the barrel first, just so you know we can take off immediately. Okay, so I'm assuming we're just the the whole party's following then. Since we're taking off immediately. All right. Uh, where do you get to attempt to find a barrel for sale? Uh, he said there were merchants by the docks, right? He said he could probably get one by the docks or the trade ward. Uh, I'm just gonna look for any like general like a uh, wood or like a. Uh general uh, carpentry store or anywhere that looks like they have barrels out front. Make an investigation check. Leon, push talk, please. Sorry. At 20. Alright, so you, like, walk out of the yelling portal, you go down the street, and there's... There's one right there! <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, sir, uh... All right, is that barrel for sale? Or man, man, oh dear, oh god! <laughs> I'm not doing that to you this time. Oh, sure, that's uh, it's two gold for that thing there. Ooh, I'll take it. it. I'll toss him the two gold, then I'll just pick it up. It's it's heavy. They weigh 70 pounds. According to the player's handbook. Is that when they're full or when they're in? I have no idea. I would assume that would be when they're full, because it, it does. Like, I, 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 yeah, I looked at the thing. Uh, I don't know. 40 like gallons a, of liquid. A five-gallon thing of water is pretty heavy, and those things hold 40 gallons. They are heavy. You got to roll that with you for a little while. Oh, right. Uh, Leon, get, get, can you give me a hand? Hmm. I give him a hand. <laughs> Begrudgingly. Thank you. Up to, to the docks. You know what I was waiting on? What? Giving you a hand. Yeah. Dad jokes out of the way. Let's all go to the docks. Yeah, I guess we'll just Let's barrel. Let's all go to the docks. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to look for the ship owner. You know where to look, because you know roughly where it was. Um... All right. Uh, do, do, do I see him anywhere? Or... Yeah, it seems to be like just like, I mean, inspecting the uh, the work that was done. It looks like uh, the hole's been patched. Ooh. Does it look all spiffy now? More or less. It looks like the ship that's been repaired, but that's just kind of how it is. It, it still looks very used. Yeah, but that's kind of just how it has to be done. 
with the nature of it and all. And also with the time that was <laughs> given. Fair enough. Oh, good, good evening, sir. We're back. Are your eyes bad, lad? It's, uh... It's like noon. Yes, good evening. <laughs> <laughs> well, like I said. <laughs> noon is evening, after all. Uh, Palchara. Afternoon is uh, noon is more before evening, but uh, semantics. <laughs> it's a term of phrase. Anywho, that's it. Yeah, the, the, let's get the ship fixed. Uh, sorry, go on. I heard I was interrupting you. Sorry. Well, uh, see, it seems like you got the ship in order. He nods. All right. We gave you the first half up front. Here's the second half. I hand him over the, uh, the remaining 5,000, I believe, that was the yes. So, so go ahead and have... remove 1,000 from your inventory because it hasn't already been done. Basically, that one in the front of the platinum. <laughs> done. All right. Goodbye, money. Well, hello, new airship. But this guy doesn't know it's an airship. Well, he may find out in a minute. Yeah. But... All right, well, all hands on deck. Indeed. As you roll the barrel up the gangplank up to the <laughs> up to the ship. Uh, I, I'm going to do whatever the equivalent <laughs> to, like, flipping switches is are in, like, the, uh, in the air, ele air elemental area. Turning it on. Okay. Yeah, touch a few runes that are here and there. But the uh, the ship starts to shudder and shake a bit. Yeah. Uh, r right before we take off, I want to like go over the uh, edge a bit and say, "Hey, by the way, sir, why would you give us such a good price for the ship?" <laughs> So you're taking off from the, from the air right here? I, I'm. We're just about to. This is like right before we take off. <laughs> he kind of looks at you like, what do you mean? Uh, I'm just going to nod to Ezra. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> I, it, it, I'm assuming it's igniting the, fl the flame in the... Uh, in the whatever to do it, and I, uh, yeah, you kind of you uh get the flame elemental going, and just like that balloon fills up a bit, and you you slowly rising a little bit out of the water. You get a couple of feet off of it, the water trickles down the sides of it. The man sits down there, dumbstruck, jaw down. Arms slumped down and just staring. I'm, I'm just doing the on the ship, uh, like big wave. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> We've now become a memory that everyone around him is not going to believe they saw a flying ship. <laughs> well, there's plenty of other people that are like, what the? Kind of turning their heads and seeing you. It's a big city. And suddenly there's a ship flying. Uh, 
I don't think that man's ever going to talk about it because you stiffed him <laughs> fucking hard. But I'm going to make sure that we fly, that we don't fly over the actual city. We're, we're going to go over the water a bit over here. That, that's fine. You don't, don't need to draw too many drawing, like eyes this way. People, on, people on, seeing on the harbor, seeing like this like blimp of a thing in the sky. <laughs> And, uh, Darabeth is just on the ship, too, like, kind of clinging to the sides because she is unfamiliar with airships. Well, I, I did tell you it flies. Her look is similar to the no man's look. Congratulations, you're officially taking the second fastest means of travel in the multi- well, in our plane of existence, uh, directly to- I'm assuming your wife is where you wish to go. That, that would be beneficial. Excellent. To Triborg! By the way, the fastest mean was teleportation. Yeah, I know. Uh... How fast was the airship? I need to double check that. Because I have forgotten how fast the damn airship was. Yeah, those are, I tell you, I miss being airborne. Yeah, we just gotta keep this one in one piece. Don't worry, we're gonna take much better care of this one. We're gonna take it with us no matter where we go. All right, so it's 64 miles per day. That's kind of what ha led to its downfall last time. Well, I guess we won't take it to a war zone next time. We'll, we'll find a place to park it in a, in a town. And that's not going to be on this one, is it? Well, it's pretty soon I'll be able to set up the security system. Let's see, it will take... About four days to get to Treebor from here. Okay, so we'll have two people running the day shift and two people running the night shift. If you do no. that, it'll be quicker. Yeah, that was the whole point of getting everyone trained up on it. Yep. <laughs> Let's see. Is there anything I can do for security system right now? No, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, ne next level up, I'll have glyph of wording. Actually, does that count for the ship? Not that, that, that means it's going to move. Hmm. Either way. You guys get to about here. Did I? I did. I need to bring that map back, actually. Give me a second. Once I can find it. I guess we should probably inspect it. Like, what, what's the things like uh, in the under deck? Is there like as much like, is there as, as many rooms there was in the last one? It's more compact. Uh, there's a little, a few less rooms. You guys got to kind of bunk up. Uh. It's definitely not as um, comfortable.
Someone roll me a d4. Deck. Alrighty, just give me a second. Let's see. This beer barrel, I can generate four gallons of beer a day. Alright, so... Let me bring uh, Darabeth up here. There we go. In the distance, you see uh, four large flying creatures heading toward you. We're going to assume that Badger and Reed are sleeping because they're, they just took their shift. So. Should probably uh, apply the full rest. Yeah, make sure your hit points are correct and all that fun stuff. Right side, I did finish a scroll of Cure Wounds on the way here. Not sure if you'd seen these already. You have now. Yeah, well, we killed one. yeah, we killed one before the the yaks. You killed a, um, something different. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is a large thing. It looks like a body like a tiger, but a, like a face like a lion, and it has like almost a humanoid-like face. With uh, large leathery wings and spikes on its tail and uh, mane. Oh yeah, we killed a chimera before the X. Yes. Okay. That makes more sense. Oh no! Oh god, I, I was the first one to notice something and react to it. Leon, are you here? I'm here. Initiative, please. Does this airship have its ballista loaded? Yes. Ochara, you are the first to act. Oh my god, what are those? No, I'm not even gonna chance it. it uh, I'm just gonna assume these things are hostile. Probably. Uh, face the power of my Eldritch Blast! And I'm going for the closest one right here. Okay. And... Heal you bleed. Heal you bleed. Both those definitely hit. <laughs> 9 and 12, so 21. Jeez. Uh, I think we have plenty of uh, time for this today. Hey, uh, I'm going to give Ezra a bardic inspiration also. All right. I feel inspired. What's your turn? What's the distance on these average? Like, are they... They're That's easily roughly within... correct. They're easily within, you know, range of most things. Alright, I'm gonna cast... 
hex on that one. All right, the top one. Okay. And I'm gonna lob Eldritch Blast at it. Blast, blast. That'll hit. That'll hit. Jesus. Jeez, that guy is. I'm not having a good day. And I'm not gonna move. Okay. Well. The one you've been pelting. Basically, nopes out and dive bombs. Um, it's basically going to go under the ship. It's, this is under the ship. About 90 feet. It would dive bomb with my hex on it. <laughs> Yeah, it's fucking out, oh, going away. Rip spell slot. This one comes back here. It's like, it's hovering like 10 feet above the ship. This one. You're also concentrating. Really, these things are not gonna... <laughs> they are not in your way. Okay, so. Ulchara. Three tail spikes shoot at toward you. Uh, none of them hit. Ezra, the same for you. The 22, an 18, and a 15. Two of those hit. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna do a uh, cutting words on the 18. Okay. So that turns that into a miss. So you take a total of six piercing damage. Okay. The south southern one. Then go for Leon. And only one hits for 10 piercing. That did really freaking good on that damage. That was a 21 to hit Leon, by the way. And it's your turn, Leon. This one is 10 feet above. Yeah, I can't really hit them uh, since they're, like, flying and such. Have you forgotten about your boots? Son of a well, hmm. Well, the, the question is, behind? like, is, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is the ship leaving behind, then? You can stay with it. I'm not that much of a dick. Oh, so, like, we're moving... You, you, you could literally say, oh, shit, there's shit coming. Halt, uh, have it halt in midair, and then go nuts. Alright. Uh, is this one, like, ten feet above me, or is it, like, uh below the deck i believe this one th this one here is below, like well below the deck this one here is um slightly above the deck it's kind of out of the reach of someone who isn't flying right all right then yeah also i guess if we were moving forward i guess someone would be at the helm mm, all right i'm just gonna go ahead and hit this one at uh, the south end then all right. You activate your boots of flying. Yeah, the boots of flying for a minute. Hooray! All right, go nuts, man. Does not hit. That one is. That's a hit. Uh, 
13. Not bad. Expect more damage. You know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and use Shield of Faith. Why not? Uh, I think it was bonus action to activate the boots. Oh, right. Wait. Oh, yeah. That's fine then. You're not concentrating? Um, you're flying, though. You know you're flying. All right. Darabeth. What can I have her do? <laughs> she can do so much terrible things to these things. <laughs> <sighs> She's going to fireball them. Uh. Oh, great. That's great. I love when that doesn't fucking work. Where something happened to the character sheet? It's just the maid sheet didn't work right. Uh, holy shit. E. 22. And a 5. <laughs> So one takes the full brunt. The other is much better off. That's her, though. Ulchara. Uh, the one uh, that's closer to me, the one directly to my right. Yes. Uh, double O, that's why, yes. Alrighty. Oh crap, actually, full screen for my character sheet. Oh, there we go. Okay. That was just blinding. Hit. Hit. And. Oh, 20 force. Very nice. And I'm just gonna ignite the flame tongue blade, because why not? <laughs> that would be my turn. Ezra, it's your turn. Okay. I'm gonna hex blades curse this one. Mm -hmm. Hit. I forgot to roll the. Uh, that's that's fine. You can just tell one, me how much it is. It's because a hex blades curse adds an extra. Uh. Is it four. It's by proficiency bonus and to that, damage rolls. That point, you guys are level so, nine, so it's four, right? Yeah, so it's fourteen. Okay. Uh, how do I do this? <laughs> you hit them with the one, with the other one. <laughs> uh, I fire a bolt off and hit it square in the chest. And then I gain back 12 HP. <laughs> and then it just plummets from the sky. And it goes straight past its buddy. And it's like, no, nope, nope. They're just getting the fuck out of here. This one's basically gone. Okay. So, this thing immediately flies 100 feet away. So this thing is 120 feet away from you guys, this one up here. And Leon, yours is going to attempt to hit you. Or bite you with a 20 to hit. I'm so sorry. The one time I could have just used... Shield well, you couldn't have because. <laughs> I know, but I'm just saying. <laughs> the one time it would have worked. I'll, I'll cutting words for you. Uh, let's see. Okay. Three, Seventeen. All right, so that one, that one misses. Uh, the second attack is twenty. <laughs> that's however much less damage. It's four slashing damage, and that's all you take. <laughs> uh, and now it's your turn. 
Ironically, I don't know why, but I can't see the map, which is weird, but... That whatever. is strange. Uh, anyway. Either way, I, I still have my sheet up, so I can still hit. That'll hit. And so will that. I, I might as well just go ahead and fish for that uh, nat 20 yep, there. Yep, I, I, yep, absolutely. Absolutely. fucking -lutely. Just gonna re-roll one that one. <laughs> you, have, you have two ones, actually. What? One was, one oh, was in the crib. Yeah, I see. Indeed. Very nice. Oh dang, that's some nice damage. And let's hear the see this crit fish. You did exactly enough damage to kill it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is great. Do I have enough movement to even hit another one? No. <laughs> Dang! Do you have a javelin? Yes, actually I do. Oh, no, wait, that one went 120 feet away. Um, You could attempt to... You could just attempt to hook a javelin at that other one. Uh, just, uh, go ahead it. and roll another d20. I'm going to use your... Your twelve from the other one, since Alex would have would have hit it. It's, uh, yeah. Uh, go ahead and roll your javelin damage. There's a one in there. <laughs> that's well. That's not your great weapon, though. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> See, I would have had to go up here. Um... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing too much. Okay, let's see. I was like, max power? Question mark? Actually, sure, gestures toward that other one. <laughs> All right. That is 10d6. For level five, I think. It's only it only goes up a D six every level, right? Alright. Uh, that is just fails. Alright. Well, Chara, it is just in range of your Eldritch Blast. Oh, here's where we've saved up the Nat 1s, boys. That hits. And Eldritch Blast. <laughs> <laughs> you did that to yourself. Yep, I did. I was expecting it, though. All right. Ezra. It is also just in range. It. It. As a uh, Poshara fires two hundred blast, one hits it, the other kind of it kind of kind of barrel rolls in midair and it makes it miss. Ezra, you uh, your first blast slams its tail, and when it turns around. The other splats goes right between its eyes. <laughs> Dear God. We're essentially out of combat. Dear God, the, those griffins are horribly ill. Uh, uh, Polchara, I'm pretty sure there's one Griffins. Did you see how molted their wings were? 
Oh, Char, did you see any feathers? I don't know. Oh, like, I go... Griffins have just as much hair as they do feathers, but I think that one was molting. It... Wait, is that what, what a griffin looks like without its feathers? Don't, don't griffins have... <laughs> Potara, don't griffins have beaks? I know, which is that's why I thought it was so weird. <laughs> Hello, Badger, how are you? Oh, thankfully. Yeah, uh, apparently our stove, half of it doesn't work, so Kyle had a pot of water on the stove for ten minutes. Just that's, a pot of water. That's fun. When he, <laughs> when he mentioned it, he's, I thought he said your eye was not working. Yeah. I got stabbed by the spoon as well. Um, I'm, I'm not that dexterous. Yeah, we, uh, we heard that. Leon and I heard that. And we're like, what? <laughs> just thinking about us. Why the fuck are you here? <laughs> good to yeah. see you. That's not the case. <laughs> it's all good. No. If I'm going to get hurt, it's going to be at my job. We have a, uh, 675 pound piece of metal just hovering in the air. I got a weld on because we can't stabilize it where it's at. That's fun. But other than that, I'm here. Just don't stand and, under it. Uh, apparently, I am just tired. That's something that entire battle of very fascinating creatures. <laughs> yeah, you actually, that was a. Uh, you and Reader had just taken your shift of working the engine and flying the ship at night. So you were resting. I was assuming, like, I was like texting Ezra the entire time. I'm like, wait, what the fuck? What's going on? Are they upstairs? That's what. Why are we at Metacores? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Badger, we were attacked by a group of molting griffins. <laughs> molting griffins this high up? I, are you I, sure, Char? I thought it was weird, too. I'm gonna turn to, uh, Leon and Ezra to see what their reaction is. We're both shaking our head to you, no. <laughs> I see. Okay. Um, I'll make a note of that in my notes, Char. Um, <laughs> thank you. I have a question for you. Hmm. No, Char. Never mind. Yeah. What year did you say you graduated from college? <laughs> uh, three years ago. Were you at the top of your class, or like? Uh, I was like in the top ten. In game context, okay, it's like, wait a minute. I thought, she, I thought he graduated a long time, but not three years ago. Wait a minute. Uh, no, I, I graduated uh, Bard College when I was 25, uh, and I'm 28 now. And to be fair, we're mostly we're mostly graded on our uh, like magical capabilities and our and our ability of uh, arts. But I was a pretty good fighter. <laughs> Why do you ask? Nah, I just want to be sure. I never thought I'd ask you. I mean, if if you're, I mean, if you're asked, if you're putting my question, uh, my intelligence in <clears throat> question, in the Bard College of Lore, we mostly study politics. Typically, a lower bard bard becomes a, a right hand man of a king or duke or some kind of noble. It's typically what we prepare for. Mm hmm. But I'm kind of a special case. <laughs> you, sir, are one of a kind. Oh, thank you. No problem. Anyway, are we landing near a uh, tribord? Well, that is all up to you. I figured, I mean, that's the plan. Oh, I meant right now. Like, are, are we currently descending? Uh, you can. I mean, it's kind of, you get there... 
roughly early evening. This is probably a technical question with the airship. Um, what is sustaining it being in the air? Is it magic, a certain type of gas? Is it just heated air? It's a fire elemental and an air elemental. Okay, is there anything we have to do to keep them happy or working normally? No. They're in the machine. <laughs> I'm just making sure. I don't know how this works. I just want to make sure that we're not flying go. Did we forget something? Oh, shit! Fuel! And we just fall out of the sky. I'm like, well, this is how we all die. No, ironically, the only thing those two need to sustain themselves is air. And even if it, this ship does fall, I have feather fall, so we're good. <laughs> For everyone? I, I can fly uh, if not for everyone. I also got this, uh, I also got the un unmovable rod. <laughs> Just in case fly fails me. Okay, I wasn't gonna ask, but now I'm gonna ask. How would that help us if we're falling? Well, you see, first I press the button and I hold on to it. And then the ship will fall, but I'll stay in the air. Like pin between something like kind of like a shirt, like a shower curtain rod. It kind of like if if you guys are nearby and grab hold of it too, like this thing can hold up like three hundred three thousand pounds. Sorry, I didn't mean to get off sidetracked. I was like, wait, what? So which way are we heading now? Triboard to drop off the lady? Yeah, we're landing now. Gotcha. Return. Oh, this is where we had that crossover. Yeah, I, was, I wonder if they're still in town. I was about to say, like, Pachara looks very paranoid, like, just looking off the edge of the ship, because, like, like last time we were here, we fought fire giants, and fire giants is what destroyed our last ship. Oh, that's right. <clears throat> How does the landscape look as we're slowly descending? Uh, it looks better. It's been months since you guys have last been here, actually. Uh, Char, should I use primeval awareness to see if I sense any giants nearby? Oh, you certainly can. It, 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 does it look like they got that hole uh, we all digged filled? Uh, yes, they did. Uh, they got that filled. The buildings that were on fire had been repaired. Uh, whatever wow. buildings that may have been destroyed have been repaired. Or at least uh, mostly repaired. They've had plenty of time to take care of that. I wonder if this town's like opinion of us mostly positive or mostly negative. Why would it be negative? We didn't do nothing wrong. Oh look, these people showed up and then the fire giants attacked. I don't know, just some people think that way. <laughs> people are crazy like that. Anywho. Uh, let's see here. We need to find the, uh, the innkeeper, right? Uh, she was... yeah. Yep, she has... she owns, uh, the North Shield House. Oh, okay. Hey, uh, I... I'll go uh, over there with the group and I'll... and I like to knock on the door. Uh, Tarathra kind of, or Darabeth, rather, sorry, stop some people being stuck. Actually, like, gently kind of moves you aside and just rushes in the door. Uh, I'm just going to leave. Why uh, is she I, running in like she owns the, oh, never yeah, mind. I, I, I'm just going to, like, lean in uh, to Ezra, but it's like, man, it's going to be, like, really awkward if the innkeeper got, like, remarried or something. Like, we, we didn't really ask her about her personal, like, last time we were here. A little late for that now. Should I go stop her? She's gonna say this slowly getting off of a ruby just in case. Ruby could probably catch her. Oh, she has already it went in. Yeah, I say we just let things play out. Okay. I'll, I'll walk in too to make sure nothing bad happens. You you hear an audible gasp and like a 
the sound of a glass falling and breaking. Sounds about right. That be a good sign, right? Well, let's think about this for a second. Logically, uh, who has glass and who doesn't? I'm gonna go with Char to enter the building. Yeah. Well, that's either the sound of someone dropping a, a cup out of uh, like shock or someone being attacked. So I'm gonna check. <laughs> My money's on it being shock. Yeah, but what type of shock? Good shock or bad shock? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna go in with a uh, Polchara inside just minding my own business all right as you go inside you see uh what you'd expect a very very shocked ergala being hugged by a crying darabeth <laughs> Air. Okay. Seems that right? Uh, you, you're right, Leon. It was shock. Char, can you do press a digitation get the broken glass off the ground? That, that wouldn't get it off the ground. <laughs> that, that cleans it up. Never mind. It, it cleans like mess. It, it cleans up like dirt. It, like the, the, think of it like clean like soap and water, not clean as in like dust. Ah, uh, gotcha. God, I'm just looking at that glass and thinking, do I have a magical means of cleaning that up? Is this the thing that defeats me? <laughs> uh, Is this the one thing that defeats me? And, uh, oh, God, I really don't want to cast Levitate. levitate. <laughs> uh... Oh, I'll just let it be broken. We found someone that you might recognize? She's gonna say calmly. <laughs> She's having trouble talking too. Uh, uh, <laughs> you, you, you all found. And she kind of really embraces uh, Darabeth. Uh, I remember you all. You you uh, you were here when the giants attacked a few months ago too. Yeah, that was us, and we had a yeah. big hole in the ground, which you filled, which I'm pretty impressed with, by the way. Yeah, we we found her in the yawning portal. She was in the yawning. What? Darabeth, if you were there, why didn't you get... Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me I was... <laughs> she seems like... You were in Waterdeep the whole time? In her defense, there was a talking frog who made her want to stay? Now, was it a frog the, or was it here's, a here's the way, I'm just going to put it this way. Here's the way Pochara put it. She was in the Yawning Portal. The Yawning Portal is a tavern in Waterdeep. Ooh, uh, complication. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. I guess I should have been more specific. She, she was in uh, the Underdark through the portal in the Yawning Portal. I he was would, also being controlled by a reptilian. Yeah. So, some kind of brainwashing thing. Uh, but luckily, I was able to cure her of any further brainwashing. But they've still kind of embraced and, uh... They haven't right. seen each other in years. Right, we're... We're gonna give you two some time to catch up. We'll be in the flying ship in your front yard if you need us. But, uh... Badger would like to take a bottle with her and leave three gold on the table as she takes a bottle of alcohol with her. Okay. She's gonna think, how much is usually a bottle of alcohol? 
than D and D. That's a little bit more than what like like a bottom tier uh, wine bottle would be. Uh, what about a top tier? Like, does she have any top tier stuff? That would be like ten gold. Okay, I like to leave fifteen gold pieces on her table, as Char to grab the bottle and then walk out. <laughs> oh dear God. Did, did you get a taste for, like, the good wine? Because I, I bought it last session for everyone. No, not a taste. I just think, like, since we almost died, I think I have time to celebrate <laughs> us being alive. We, okay. we, did, we, we celebrated with fine wine already. <laughs> well, carpe diem. Seize the day. We're seizing the day again. I can't reach the top shelf. You have the guy before me. You put the gold uh, there, you said? Say that one more time and I will kick your ass, Kyle. No, no, I was asking you, uh... Oh, no, I'm sorry, I forgot to mute my mic. Kyle was like, is it really top shelf if I can't reach it? Uh, you did put 10 gold there, you said? I would put 15 Ezra. gold there. Did you really say that, Ezra? Yeah, he did. He's in the kitchen right now, and I'm about to kick him. Yeah, I'll grab it for her if she paid for it. Yeah, I'll put 15 gold on the table. Okay. Cool. I do not steal alcohol. I am not a thief. I can just magically make wine. <laughs> Question, do we still have Lady? Or did Lady go with, uh... Uh... That's with, um... Rizwin. Rizwin, yes. Okay, I must say, if not, maybe we can leave him here as a, uh... Kind of like a guardian for the, uh, two ladies. I mean, it's just a... Just a big cat with wings. How dare. I cover Bobby. over Onyx's ears. <laughs> Not even a big cat. <laughs> <clears throat> but anyway, as I said, I, like I, I'm going to go back to the ship and let them catch up. All right. How long are you, do you guys plan to stay here? Probably just like till morning. I, I like I, I'd like to talk to them, make sure everything's okay. <laughs> All right. And I figured it would be nice to, like, rest for the night there instead of, like, picking right back up. Because we did just travel three days nonstop. It was more like two days because you were taking ships. I forgot you guys were doing that. Well, but still, we were, we were, we, we've been going two days nonstop. It'd be nice to stop and rest. Yeah. Do you, do you think we should hire someone, Ezra? We would have to find somebody that is uh, capable of understanding all of it. Well, I mean, like, uh, oh, God. We'll, we'll talk about that later. Uh, I'll, I'll look into Xandar's Guide to Everything, because there's an entire, like, section about uh, paid workers. Please, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, what time of day is it? It is, uh, like, evening now. Is there a bunch of kids around? Uh, not really out at this hour. I mean, I think last time you were here, you were watching the animals. I was going to, like, summon all three uh, bags of tricks, let them stretch out, and if anyone wants to interact with them or learn about them, I'd tell them facts about them. If anyone wants to learn. Okay, um, let's see what you get. Watch, they're all three the same creature. Two out of three. <laughs> well, what's the seven? Seven is... I feel like the threes are regular ones that no one's uh, going to freak out about. Three is massive and seven is a lion. Yeah. yeah. Um, I like to have the lion beside the panther <laughs> so that they see that is kind of friendly. How does putting a lion next to a panther make it look friendly? I'll put the dogs on either side and mask them on each side. <laughs> oh no, a lion! Oh wait, no, it's, uh, there's a panther with it. We're safe. Oh no, a panther! <laughs> there, there. And then the other mastiff's over here. So they're just kind of all oh, lined man. up. Be feared. Good lord. Good lord. I'm going to be petting the uh, lion, letting you kind of sit down and kind of chuff a little bit. 
Because lions actually do not purr, but they do make a chuffing sound when they're happy. Just So, you don't get approached by anybody. Aww. <laughs> Little brave souls. Such is. I'll give my lion an extra cuddle. Felix! I feel like the lion with the mastiffs being more annoying than the lion would be. I mean, I feel like we've attracted enough attention in Badger. Like, we parked a flying ship in someone's front yard. But how often do people get to see creatures like this? I mean, maybe they want to learn more about them and how to avoid them, or... I mean, to be fair, lions back. aren't a very common thing, not around here at least. Maybe if you were at the circus. Well, there's, uh... They'd be a bit, a bit more common, um... Manticores. Manticores are half lion. Not well, they look that way, but like, lions would have a higher way. chance of being like around this area, like around around there. Hmm. Still, something they don't know about. <laughs> Can I do like acrobatic tricks over them, like trying to attract attention to show that they're friendly and okay to approach? Make a dexterity performance check. Very performance. If you're proficient, oh. if you're proficient, are you proficient in performance? Uh, <laughs> I opened my mouth before I read my stats. Um, no. I then do... it's a straight dexterity check. <laughs> I am proficient at animal handling to make him do tricks. I know. This is a performance, <laughs> though. So I guess uh... you, can, you can use your wisdom or your dexterity for this performance check. Wisdom or dexterity. All right. Well, we'll see what happens. Oh, that's, that's not bad. Um, that's actually pretty good. <clears throat> Well, people I seem to try to ignore you. They do kind of seem to look at you a little bit more and kind of clap. You don't get anything from it, but no one really <laughs> wants to approach the lion. <laughs> so it's like a like a circus show, pretty much. You don't get close to the animals; you just spectate. You let others <laughs> approach the animals, the handlers. Okay. I guess I'll let them all go away, besides the panther, of course. By the way, the uh, mastiffs are big dogs. Oh, but they're just big puppers in real I life. know that, uh, but they they're gigantic. But they they're so hard. good. You get their face and you squish them and they just shake their heads, their little big heads. They're awesome the, dogs. They're, the, the dogs are much less you know, intimidating than the lion. <laughs> it's still a little horse. I love that scene from Simon Birch. He's in the hallway, and also there's a, a Simon Birch is a little kid, like a little person, little kid. And a great name goes down the hallway. Ah, it's a horse! <laughs> Runs away. <laughs> That's me, it's Badger. <laughs> Sorry. I haven't seen that movie in forever. Oh. On, on the other note, while we wait, I'm going to work on some spell scrolls. Who is anyone staying in the inn? at the end with my bottle I paid for. Uh, can I have the bottle I paid for, Char? <laughs> no, just a general question. Is anyone staying at the inn? I will. Eh, Actually, is up. there a stable? Yes. I will point with my bottle. I will be in the stable. And I'll start pointing that way with, uh, <laughs> with Onyx and Ruby and Jasper. Well, I'll, yeah. I'll, stay on, I'll stay and guard the ship. Yeah, I'll also be on the ship. I'll just be working on spell scrolls. Uh, but about how long do we wait before they approach us? If they ever do. Uh, let's give them to the... Let's give them to the morning. To after the, like, the... Like, noon-ish. Okay. Yeah, that, that's like a full day. That's excellent. Where's Leon staying? Uh, I guess the end of this is somewhat better. Okay. Uh, your room is comped. You do not have to pay for it. Uh, you're given free food as well. <laughs> and you are approached by the couple that are holding hands now, and both seem 
happy and you kind of got that like you know those marks under your eyes when you've been crying a lot but this this is not sad crying this has been very very happy crying uh -oh. yes your, your food is given to you and they also um we, we want to thank you all you for bringing her back safely i know this isn't much Tonight, today, your room's comp. Anytime you need to stay here, please feel free. Or, like, in the inn. And also, in the, you are handed this, um. This pouch. We, we don't have much to give. But uh, we hope this will. Someone, uh, you, you know, or you can enjoy. If you, um, if you're one that prepares food, this can help, uh, greatly. Uh, what it is, it's, a, it's a spice pouch, but it, it refills itself every morning. You just think of a seasoning you want, and it's full. It looks empty, but, uh, she, like, kind of holds onto it, and you see, uh, salt suddenly appear inside it. Pachara's eyes are just gonna like widen and he's just like gonna hold the bag. It's like consider a square. You're not even there. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> the, the chef is not here. The chef isn't there. <laughs> That's why I asked who was there. Oh, fair enough. Are they able to repair the stables enough from the attack, or is it about? Oh to yeah, every, everything has been repaired. Okay. It's it's been a it's been months since the attack happened. You guys have been busy. Probably a long shot, but are there any horses in the stable that seems like anxious or skittish or just a little bit more high strung than the others? Make an insight check. Oh, God, I'm so great at insight. It's a wisdom stat, so you're fine at it. <laughs> Oh, okay, I'm pretty good at that then. Sorry. Inside, inside. <laughs> if I can steal. Uh, they all seem pretty calm and happy. Uh, you don't get any... Except when you get a little close with the with the panther. <laughs> oh, so animals sense that she's... Just... They can't sense that she's not a real animal. Okay. Well, that's good to know. When they get anxious, it's, it's, this is a predator. <laughs> Even if horses are bigger... Panthers, not something they see. And... It has sharp teeth. Okay. And it seems their instincts are just kind of telling them to stay away from this thing. Fair enough. Okay, I just guess I'm gonna find a... Oh, it's already morning already, isn't it? No, Wait, that was... Liam was given that uh, during the evening. Gotcha. As he was eating his free mutton. <laughs> mutton. Oh, okay. Ezra, you're, you're here, right? Uh, I stayed on the ship. No, I meant um, just here in general. Yeah, I'm here. Uh, I Sam's gonna hate me for this. Sam's gonna hate me for this. Uh, take an inspiration for that thing you said to her earlier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean you didn't even say in the game? Oh, <laughs> that. <laughs> he may take inspiration in the game, but he's not going to have a well rest tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I got to take advantage of the funny moments. Okay. N taking me out of the equation, yeah, it was hilarious. Putting me in the equation, it's not funny. I thought it was I mean, funny. Character's short, so... No, he knows I'm short in real life, too. Oh, that, I, that I don't know. And I'll have to climb on the counter sometimes to get plates and bowls. You're an inch shorter than me. We're both short. But I don't bring it to your attention. I know I'm short. <laughs> We're gonna get it back on with the game, please. We're supposed to be playing D&D. &D. <laughs> but, uh... But yes, you are all are. Get your rest. 
next morning comes and uh <clears throat> do you go to the inn or do you wait for them to come to you I think I'd go to the inn. I, I leave my panther outside, though. So yeah, if it's the, the yeah, if it's the next day, I yeah, will probably go to them. <clears throat> Wait, was that question for everyone? I was reading something. Sorry. Yes. Okay. Good. Yeah, I mean, we can't hang around Tribor forever, so. Well, we said we're going back to the inn, right? Yes. I would like to... Ooh, I want to get the finest meats they have. Well, it cuts of the finest meat they have. Just this once. I can't have you it all the way. I just huh? gotta, she, she can't be giving me it all, all the way. I, I, well, I was going to pay for it. Oh, oh no, she's giving you some for free. Oh, it's not for me. It's for the panther. Shh. And well, she's giving Onyx it to you for free. And Jasper. Because oh crap! I still are... have the pseudo dragon on my shoulder. Is it's... that okay having him in? No one really seems to pay any mind to that one. Oh, the freaking mini dragon! They have no care about but a lion. Well, That's yeah, a lion is gigantic and scary. And they don't show up here around here. Crag cat, yes. Lion, no. They're afraid of crag cats, too. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, common folk in 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 D and D, they could be they're they're te they're technically don't like wolves either. Anything that's predator based and they don't have a easy time dealing with it, they're not going to be happy. Would I know basic ways to keep crack cats away with all my uh, studies and things? Uh, I mean, it, it, it's rare enough that they had uh, come into a city. But you, you, you yourselves have encountered them like along the roads occasionally. Heck, when you guys were going uh, north of Long Saddle. You encountered some. So, do would you say they come in here often enough that they need to know how to protect themselves from it, or no? No, and there's also, um, you know that the the leader of the guard here is a member of the Harpers, and the guards will take care of it. If if one does come to the town for some reason, it'd be very stupid of an animal to do that. Side eyes, Ruby. <laughs> but that's not gonna stop people, like normal people, from just being kind of afraid of a lion that just suddenly appeared. Well, while, while we're walking into the end, I'm going to say to Ezra, e Ezra, uh, here, t take this with you. Uh, it's a scroll of shield. I made it last night. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yes, it, it pr probably would have came in handy uh, back in that. The yawning portal. Anywho. Caught up now. Alright, as you guys enter, you are provided free breakfast. By a very happy couple. And uh, they, of course, approach you. Oh, again, we, we cannot express our thanks for what you have done for us. Uh, we've already... Uh, we didn't have much. We had given uh, Leon here... Uh, what we could as thanks. And anytime you're in town, if you need a place to stay, any rooms, please. On the house. Oh, well, that's very gracious of you. Thank you. Much obliged. We just, uh, we try to help where we can. 
I'm good with the stables, but thank you, though. <laughs> I, I, I mean, uh, thank you for your generous offer. We, we appreciate it. And I'm going to slowly give a piece of uh, me to uh, Jasper on my shoulder. And Onyx is probably just going to poke its head out like the little pouch of the sweatshirt and just steal a piece of uh, meat off my table without me knowing about it. In your menagerie of animals. Menagerie yet. I want to get awesome. a messenger bird. I want one so bad. I think that'd be awesome. You have the flying cat. A messenger bird, though. She's going to find the fattest pigeon. I need a FedEx Falcon. That's what I need. You're going to find the fattest pigeon. Fattest. Mail carrier <laughs> Manticore. I need you to deliver this quill set to the nearest place in tr in a tripod. Oh. Thanks. <laughs> oh, who's a good Manticore? Blows raspberry on the belly. Hmm. Kyle, your mic's off. Everyone, everyone in Tribor is running or fleeing away from the Manticore. I was about to say, a Wyvern's more likely than a Manticore. A Wyvern? Ugh. <laughs> hey, can you paint like a giant like male symbol on the bottom of his chest so that people know he's a mail carrier to not shoot him down? <laughs> God, that would be a terrible idea. Don't shoot! He has packages for children who need medicine. Men, I mean, look! Need... They painted a target on the chest! Aim and fire! You don't really need a man, a mana core for that. If all you needed it was a bird to lift uh, heavy packages, all you need is a crane. Oh, ha ha ha! Very funny. I remember that from Facebook. <laughs> that hurts just a little bit. Just gonna, a little I'm, bit. I'm gonna go ahead and it. give you an inspiration for it. Because I feel generous. It's a shame these don't stack. Oh, yeah, that happens. I'm too greedy with my inspiration, I think. That's fine. It's it's the time you're gonna need <laughs> it is the time you're gonna want it gonna want to have it, so I keep waiting for that nat one on a death save. Yeah, that's fair. I don't know if I'm going to use inspiration in future games. I might do something else. We'll see. Maybe. I try summoning animals <laughs> one more time since it's a new day. Yeah. Something to I really hope I get a bear for some reason. It would be hilarious as hell. Oh, come on, a seven and two threes. Okay, yeah, right. so what is a four? I have an owl, a mastiff, and a goat. Okay, those are much more normal. <laughs> they've seen the mastiffs, they've seen some goats, they've seen owls. Oh, you got your messenger bird, good job. Yeah, for less than 24 hours. Congratulations! Yeah, for, a, for a day. I Woo! need you to fly all the way to uh, Waterdeep. Halfway there just disappears, and the, all of a sudden the mail just drops somewhere in the middle of the fucking forest. Who? Why did you write back? I wrote you every day. What are you talking about? I sent my owl. Shit. My bad. <laughs> I sent my oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you go a day's ride from here, you'll find it somewhere in the ground. <laughs> I hope Wait. it didn't rain. <laughs> If everyone in the world just lived less than a mile away from me, this problem wouldn't happen. Everyone should stop being so selfish and get closer to me. I mean, I just want friends that aren't four-legged, two-legged, 20-legged. I just want friends. I, I, thought, I thought you were about to get, like, real personal about it. Or filthy half-breeds, eats, or devils, or... <laughs> Nah. Out of all the people in her party, though, she's only considered, like, two of them as her friend right now. The rest are just a kind of acquaintances to her. 
but only two of them she's considered as a friend. Damn, I, I thought you were just going to spit fire instead you spit venom. Well, you don't know which two I say are my friends, compared to acquaintances. It, it doesn't matter. I, I consider <laughs> all of you friends. Well, that's just char. <laughs> Anyways. But yeah, we appreciate breakfast. Uh, ooh. No, I'm not even going to ask that question because if all of a sudden I'll get in trouble, I don't want to get in trouble. Never mind. Uh, I have uh, Jasper pretty well trained, right? He won't do anything without me telling him to. Uh, what are you trying to do? I'm not trying to do nothing. I just know they kind of like having a little treasure hoard. And I already gave him like a copper piece earlier when I got him from the pet store to begin with. Mm -hmm. But I was gonna make sure he wasn't like trying to steal more coin that he sees like on the countertops or something like that. It doesn't appear to be. Okay, I say he he's well trained, right? I say, oh no. He, yeah, he, if, if, he, if here's what it kind of comes out. If it so much as it looks at it and you see it, you can just looks at it, look at him, and like and just slowly sh uh, shake your head, and it would slink back a little bit. <laughs> hmm. no. That's a, that's essentially how that would play out because they. Like, uh, communicate with emotion by emotions and all that? No. Bad dragon. Bad to dragon. No. <laughs> well, uh... Well, uh... I guess our next stop would be Falbar. Uh, like... It, it's, it's been almost a month since the last time we've been there. Or about by the time we get there. Or at least three or four weeks. Maybe I'll have the ring by now. Where's... Falabar? I'm trying to see it on the map, but the white's really hard to read. That's fine. It's, um, up here. Oh, we got it past Silverwood? We'll be yeah. flying over it. Okay, yeah, let's just, let's just go straight there. Uh, I'm okay with going straight there. Let's not stop, but just go straight there. <laughs> how many miles can this balloon carry in a day? Well, if you guys doing shifts, in an eight-hour period, it can go 64 miles. How often do we have to land to, like, well, repairs and stuff? Not really often for repairs or whatever. Um, you all would be able to, because you have, but you haven't, you, have, you currently have five people. Uh, you can only do two shifts, so for eight hours you have to land it. Oh. Per day. Dang, we... Do you guys want to hire someone? We, we could train them. And why should we consider you in... Why should we consider you for this position? Um... I've never been on a flying airship before. My name's Jake from State Farm. I can help you. <laughs> do you have any... Do you have any flying experience? Uh, no. Do you have any ship experience? I ship discounts from State Farm. <laughs> We're not sponsored by State Farm, so... Oh, sorry, I forgot that. <laughs> it's, it's fine. I was like, I'm just having fun. Like, We're not <laughs> making money, it's fine. We're just having fun. It's Jake from State Farm. Uh, we all, we all to... know State Farm. You said I, can, I can appreciate their commercials. <laughs> you have to wear armor, but I like my khakis. You have to wear armor. No, khakis. They must stay on. <laughs> oh, isn't it like always the guy in the red shirt dies first in Star Trek? Like the uh, yep. the engineering or no, the, there's the security. I think the security force or something. I think it's like always the red shirt's the first one to die because they made a yeah, joke about yeah. it in uh Oh god, what's that movie called? They make jokes about that in a lot of things. Yeah, him wearing khakis and a red shirt. He's gonna be the first to die on our war. I mean, th there's there's one. <laughs> I think there's one game or something that uh, actually uh, the character's name is Red Shirt something. <laughs> but. To make that my game like in the for all games. <clears throat> so hiring someone? Uh... <laughs> um, the, 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 the real question is what exactly would they be used for being that like intermittent <laughs> shift where we don't have to sit down? Uh, they'd be shoveling uh, the coal, right? 
a coal, no coal shoveler. What? What is your? Uh, what? So what? What qualifications do you have to shovel coal? Daddy drank, and my mom was never around, so he put me to work in coal mines. <laughs> okay, don't, don't, don't go there. That's too real. I mean, that I... could be too real. Fair enough. Yeah. My bad. I, I'd rather have them doing that job than running the helm. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how can we trust people if we've never seen them before, you know? Like, here's the keys to the airship. Have fun! Like, uh... Well, I mean, like, I, I do feel safe. Uh, like, I, I do feel more comfortable with the ship knowing that someone's on there. <laughs> or when we're not there. And also the fact that it takes two people to even get it off the ground so he can't possibly steal it. Well, if that's the case, what you're really looking, what we're really looking for is hiring like a mercenary, or like, like a f a fighter for hire, and just like pay them, and like, okay, so your primary job is going to be shoveling coal during travel, and then other duties would include protecting the ship while we're while we're set down. Oh, but that that will cost so much more. But you want you want the ship to be guarded. A commoner is not going to be able to guard the ship. If something really bad happens, I guess. Huh. Hey, hey, Leon, is Cloud looking for work? <laughs> He's got a job. Uh, fair enough. And Felix is in school now. I don't know. Well, I mean, like, uh, the innkeeper, she, she knew, like, an entire guild of people. Maybe, maybe she'll know, like, more capable fighters. Do you mean the same guild that Reed's a part of? And that I'm a part of? What? And Dorothra oh, wasn't... No, 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 I don't think Dorothra was... She knew, like, that guild with, like, that weird wizard guy and guy? Maybe she knows, like, other capable fighters. Oh, you mean the Harpers? <laughs> no, I'm saying that she knew the Hollow Guild, so maybe she knew other oh, people God. guilds or fight. I wasn't. I was. I was specifically making sure I was saying I don't want to hire them, but maybe she knows capable fighters since she knew them. Is she that was the them? Statement. She she was the one that brought them here, wasn't she? They were just here. No, no, we got, like, organized for this. I don't know. Huh. So, underqualified workers, then? I, I believe their wage is, like, one silver a day? Yeah, but they're not going to be able to protect the ship. I mean... They really just need to get it moving. I, I wasn't actually suggesting like them protecting it, protecting it. That's something we can figure out at a later date. Maybe when we get like some magical communicators or something, they have like a, their magical walkie-talkie. Um, there's giants coming. Oh you, a, oh, you mean a scrying stone? Yeah. It's like um. I know you guys are in the end, but there's giants coming. I mean, like, that, that still leaves us the issue of we're only going to be able to fly one-third of the time, or, like, two-thirds of the time uh, to Falbar, then, if we don't hire someone now. I don't know, maybe someone's looking uh, for a ride to Falbar. If we could just have them, like, I'm sure Falbar has plenty of people, people uh, that we could hire. Well, for the time being, how about we just, uh, we touch down and we just don't fly o straight over Silver Moon since we're going to have to take land. You guys can go about 128 miles a day. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just kind of follow the road path as far as the, uh, oh, fly. You know what? Let's, go to, let's go to Everland and, and hire a Harper. I mean, Reed's on a mission for them right now, right? Maybe, the, I'm sure they could find us someone that could help. Just some lowly intern in the Harpers? Yeah. If we do that, then... 
we'd only have to touch down twice before we got to Everlyn. And one of those two times will be in a uh, Ostland's fold. We would have to touch down, like we would be only be able to get a some possibly get somebody to, you know, hire somebody or whatever. And we'll get to Everlyn. So. What? If you're talking about going to the Harpers to see if we if they have like an intern or something that could shovel coal, we would have to wait till we got to that point though. Like we'd have to wait till we got to Everlyn, so we're gonna be stopping two or three times before we get there. Yeah, I know, but I'm saying like then we'll have us on like like I'm saying like we'll, we'll it'll take us like two days and a little bit longer here uh, for that. And uh, th then we'll have someone for the, like, the rest of the time of flying, like always. All right, well, either way, we uh, should probably just get a move on regardless. Okay. Uh, you said we could go 128 miles. Yep. <clears throat> okay, then. Okay, there's uh, the route. Uh... Badger would like to try a different route that has him not landing near Silverwood. I don't worry, we're not going to Silvery Moon. Everlyn! <laughs> Why? What's wrong with Everlyn? Or Silvery Moon? No, Silverwood. We've been to Silverwood already. There's no reason to go back to there. It was just a little town by in the wood area. Just it's something there. No shopping. No, nothing fun. There's just, there's just oh. keep going. Oh, right. The whole reason we can't trust you. Got it. <laughs> so you can't trust me because I like alcohol. You can't not trust me just because of a location. Oh no. We... Well, you don't want to talk about it. That's the issue. Uh, we... Do you want to all... talk about your issues, Leon? I've already talked about my issues. Remember? We we all did. You you were the only one that refused to tell us anything. We're supposed to be finding finding help to fly this thing, right? Where, where are we gonna try to find help for this thing? And dodging the question again. I'm gonna take Ruby and go down below deck. I do not need to be questioned by people. This is not my time. And I leave. Okay. And I walk away, walk away, walk away. So let me Right, then. Mm, that one's a strange one. Oh yeah, it's exactly why we can't trust her. I thought I was your friend, Char. That's not a game. <laughs> you don't have to you don't have to trust your friends. This is true, and that's a sad truth in real life. But, anyways. Anywho, taking the helm. Let's fly! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. We're going on adventure! Yeah! Adventure! A little too heavy, buddy. Yeah! We're going down. <laughs> I remember that. And, yeah! I still can't believe there's yeah. a whole generation of people who have no idea about that video on YouTube of the three mythical creatures with Candy Mountain and other things. Oh, wait. I Charlie? have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah. Jesus Charlie! Christ. Got an adventure. It's a magical Pluridon, Charlie. Yeah, oh my God, Charlie. Charlie. 
Yeah, I, I do remember that now. I wish Crap, I did. They stole my kidney. But part of me wishes I could erase that from my memory. <laughs> no, it was great. Almost all of my memory wishes it would just be go away from my memory. Couldn't stand that video. Oh, I love it. Over the edge. I thought it was horses. funny. I am the mentopy. I am amazing. <laughs> anyway. Hey guys, I see some horses down here. Oh, gross. <laughs> is it a unicorn? No. Wait, is there seriously horses we're flying over right now? No. Oh, I'm gonna say, wait. Do I know what type of horses these are? Like, do we need to be worried? <laughs> Shit. Oh no, there are nightmares! So, uh. Yeah, I guess we'll fly a. Uh, okay. I guess we'll fly a uh, 128 feet. So. I'm holding the distance if someone else can move it. <laughs> so where are you all staying on the ship? If I might ask. I mean, during the day and all that when you're traveling. Uh, well me, I'll probably just be in my quarters working on spells. In my downtime. Spell scrolls. I would probably be be on the top deck so I can look at any flying creatures we may or may not pass. Unless I'm trying to get away from people, then I'll go downstairs. Funny you should say that. What? Funny you should say that. Do I see something? <clears throat> I'll go ahead and put you in the in the second day area. However. In the middle of basically around um that's on the wrong fucking map. Around here. Uh Badger, you see this very clearly. It's and everyone is brought up <laughs> everyone is brought up to uh You see, um, large, or not large, but, um, humanoid-looking birds with blue feathers and javelins coming toward the ship. Harpies? No. <clears throat> humanoid birds. But I know what these, okay, first of all, are these creatures or actual humans? These are humanoids. Humanoids, so I wouldn't know about these, would I? Probably not, but they seem interested in, in attacking. So, let's get some initiative. Great. Reed is currently trancing. Oh, I'm going to be down a javelin, by the way. <laughs> uh, potentially. Oh, you mean from earlier? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they rolled crap on initiative, though. Excellent. All right. Badger, you're up first. Um, do I see any particular one that looks more colorful than the rest or more armored than the rest? No, they look about the same. Okay, let's see what weaponry I got. Because obviously... Um, actually... Uh, no, it's not worth it. I got, like, what, a... 12.5% chance of getting the one I want. So, let's not do that. Let's go ahead and do a Oath Bow. Okay. To... Let's see, who is closest to me? 
There appear to be about a dozen that have kind of surrounded the, uh... I would like to do... What are you doing? I got to fight! Wolf! Sorry. Um, I like Going... to oath this guy right here. Okay. I go and roll with that. That'll hit. Was it with advantage? Yeah, but go ahead and roll damage. Uh, do you want me to roll again in case I get a nat 20? Sure. That is not a nat 20. No. Go ahead and roll your damage. All right, and that was your sworn enemy. Jesus Christ. So as you pelt an arrow through this thing's, like, right through its skull, uh, it goes through its skull and flies out, and a body doesn't fall, but a clump of ice does where it once st stood or was flying, just kind of falls to the ground from where it was. It's definitely not... This is like magic something. Uh... That's not gonna help either. Um... What is this? That's an action. Dang it. Alright, um... These aren't uh, beasts or anything like that, right? So it doesn't count towards my uh, favorite enemy. Right. Alright, I guess that's all I can do... for now. But the thing you said using a bag of tricks is a it's action, an action. It is an action, yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yep, I'm done. I will hex on that one. Okay. And Eldritch Blast. That'll hit. Alright. Just like the one Badger hit, you hit this thing's head, and it just kind of it's plonked off, and it looks familiar. The way that these things are dying. As okay. it says, snow and ice is uh, their bodies to be made of it, and when they die, it or it, it, tur it turns into snow and ice. Oh, it looks very familiar to me. Mm -hmm. Oh. Fantastic. Um, and since the first shot killed it... Yeah, you can do whatever for your second. The second shot, I'll redirect it to that one. Alright, go ahead. That'll hit. Uh, yes. That one falls as well. Ochara. Aiming for the one on the upper left. Eldritch Blast. Hit. Other upper left. <laughs> okay. I I'm assuming that's a hit. No. No, and that toy does not hit. <laughs> oh, no! It went all the way around the world and hit me in the back. <laughs> My own weakness. That's Shit. Gorgeous. Yeah. Shit. And I'm going to move a little bit closer towards the back now. No, I'll, I'll just move there. Okay. Leon. I'm not sure if I trust this at all. Oh well, I'm just gonna use some magic at him instead. Okay. <clears throat> sort of top one first. Alright. On the right. Okay. Do, 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 do. Hit. Uh, 
I guess you're going down. It hits. Okay. <laughs> hits. Man, this is a hard fight, guys. <laughs> this is something different. <laughs> uh, wait, my turn with that, I guess. All right, these all fly up to the balloon and attempt to stab it with their javelins. Okay, that's two hits for a total of 11 damage. Badger. I'd like to lower that to... Uh, like, could, could that work? You're cutting words? Yeah. Okay. It can uh, work on damage. Okay, yeah. Well, I meant, I meant like, does that only work on creatures, though? Or, no, wait, yeah, it does, because they're the creatures. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll lower the damage by six. Okay. And roll your d6. Two. So, a whole nine damage. <laughs> Badger. A long shot question. I'm assuming... The outer edge of the balloon is where the, that shadow is. So they aren't near enough to the edge of the ship, correct? What, to like swing a melee weapon at? No. No, more like doing wind wall. Um. No. Okay. If that was a long shot, I just thought I'd ask. That's fair. Um, I'd like to move. Oops, I got I mean, this, this ship is small enough to where you can move pretty much anywhere with your speed, so... I would like to oath this guy, please, down here. Okay. And I would like to yell some profanities as... Oh, no, what I want to do is... <sighs> no, I know they're wanting to attack the balloons. I don't think they would have a raven mentality for shiny things. So yeah, I'm going to oath bow him. Okay. Swear an oath at him. That is fine. Funny, you can just swear an oath to everything. Uh, 22 hits. <laughs> Jeez, I'm doing one good, one bad. Jesus. Yep. And as bonus, I would like to yell, if you don't knock it off, that will be you soon. Okay. And wag my finger kind of like a scolding mother. Like, you better quit that. I don't see me paying you much mind. Children never do. Okay, what's it? Okay, I redirect my hex over to that one. I guess that would be okay. the closest one for me. Up. Uh, that'll hit. Hey, uh, I, I really hate to, like, bring less power to, uh, Badger here. Uh, I just reread the oath though because I thought that was weird too. It says you can choose a new target after the next dawn. After your sworn enemy dies. It's I fine. I did not it, realize that. I apologize. The six would have killed it. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay, so I'll. Uh, that one obviously. That one surprisingly died, uh, so mm -hmm. I will redirect the last one to the other one. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this one just disintegrates. You don't even see uh, the same thing happen. You did so much freaking damage to it. <laughs> well, Chara. Hmm. Well, Eldritch Blast, of course. <laughs> okay. Uh, please don't be the first one to miss, Snub. Okay. That hits. By the way, for you, you literally have to roll a nat 1 to miss these. Fair. They don't have a great AC, but um, you don't need max damage either. <laughs> you don't need it, but if you happen to roll it. Are, are these commoners? 
made of snow. I, I don't like know how... to put on my winter clothing now, just to make sure. You're never wearing your skin, you're uh, ice. We're near I was just swamp, testing but... your knowledge, DM. I do not put on my winter clothes then. Well, was... guys, I'm not. I'm not oh, entirely. I, I'm not entirely sure how this is possible, but I remember when my patron started his visits in one of my, on one of the flashbacks I had. Uh, when my so-called uh, mother did all the treachery that she did. She turned into one of those things when she was killed. The they, bird? No. Sure. <laughs> the way they were collapsing into ice and snow. Would I know a spell that would uh, do that? Make an Arcana check. Fifteen. Ooh, that is... You are unsure. It's certainly not one you know. And I'm guessing Reed wouldn't know. Uh, you probably know more than Pachara. <laughs> okay, let's... I'll go ahead and allow this, because... Good lord, him and his plus nine arcana. He's like me with intimidation. Like you, 15 for 15! Wow. Um, I shouldn't have fucking rolled for him. Well, hopefully the DC's uh, lower for him, considered. It is on his spell list, but... I feel like you guys have talked about it before. It's a thing. I, uh, yeah, player, player knowledge. I believe it was. He said it was a ice golem. Kind of. I don't know if Reed had talked about that in character. But I know for sure in character that it's the same exact kind of magic. Yeah, you, you you heard the term when you had this like the flashback simulacrum. Ooh, answer. Oops, sorry, go on. Your mother had uh, said that. Your real mother had said it. Okay, so that would be something as we're kinda of talking about it, it'd be like uh I think as we're trying to figure it out, um it's just gonna sound strange, but I think they're called Senorakram Senorakrams. Let me give Reed another Okay. Give me an advantage from saying that you saying that. Alright. Well, we are about to be in the same town as an archmage. We could ask him something about it. Yeah, so basically what a simulac... Uh, Reed explains that a simulacrum is a... He kind of like snaps like, Oh, yeah, that's right. That's what that is. That's like an, illu an illusory duplicate of a... Uh, that beats our humanoid. Um, it's, it's formed of... Uh, usually from ice and snow, and it has similar, uh, we do similar things, but it's a little bit weaker. And if it is a spellcast, it has a spellcaster, 
spellcasting uh, it can only it can't regain those slots and it can't get stronger it lasts until uh, you destroy it or and Costs a lot to cast, too. I know, for someone so weak. <laughs> well, that just means that there's someone out there that <coughs> is either protect is either protected this territory for anything that's unknown, or we piss somebody right off. Well, if it. If it was the, uh, the latter, that person would have to be rich and have a lot of magical power. Oh, crap. We, we pissed off someone who was rich and had a lot of power in Silvery Moon. Oh, we, we killed, uh... Di didn't she say she had a husband, the person we killed? Uh, you don't... Which person you killed? The the uh the person we stole all those magic items from in Silvery Moon. Oh, you don't you don't know that what happened to her. Woman. You don't know what happened to her. She got oh, away. She, yeah, she got away. Oh, damn. okay. It might have been her then. Well, we better be careful. How did I remember that? Yeah, we, we should probably be careful. Man, I don't want Jinx. I'm doing pretty good for memory now. <laughs> Just imagine how good your memory will be once you get your LASIK. Wait. <laughs> Wait. I'll be able to see the world so clearly. Of course it'll <laughs> just come rushing back to me. We gotta be careful. And we probably should land... Oh no. Why are we are so close to so... What? Uh, yeah, um... we gotta... yeah, we're gonna have to land soon. We got a hole in the balloon. That we got a patch. Can't Leon just fly and patch it on the go? We should be fine. Leon can do it, can't you? You think I got men? Leon, do you know anything about leather working? <laughs> he can pick. Oh god, I was gonna suggest he could pick me up and fly up, but I don't trust him to keep me up in the air. <laughs> like he's gonna drop me. Cause I got leather working and leather working tools. Uh, guys, um. Did anybody tell Badger about where uh, Tower's located? <laughs> oh, yeah. Ba Badger, uh, you, you do know, like, yeah, our tower that's being built is, like, a mile away from Everlyn, right? Uh, you guys put it within a day's a walking distance of Everlyn. I thought we were putting the tower somewhere over here. Wasn't that our deal? So, the Fire King? It's actually, like, 30 miles away from Silverywood. Or the Silverwood? I thought the tower was over here because they were going to keep it over there. That's where we found the uh, king and queen. They said kill the fire giants. That'd be an awful spot. No, Imagine but... us having to go up this road every time. And in fact, it's the... I feel like it's over here. Sure is known for knowing animals, not cartograph, okay? But yeah, we'll, we'll just land on Everlyn. Uh, Badger could probably get the balloon patched up for us. Can't we land at our tower? It's not done yet. That's a good reason not to land at it's the tower. It's maybe been, what, a week since they started? Uh, well, we... Let's see. Yeah, probably. We teleported from Everlyn to Waterdeep, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, yep, it's been a... Probably about a week and a half, yeah. Okay, I'll 
fix the balloon. Um, I, I'm going to need a minute while we land. And I'm going to take uh, Ruby and Onyx and Jasper and go below deck and try to find a place to hide them. Okay. That I want to put on my helm of comprehension. My Batman mask so no one sees my fist. Okay. Yeah, now that I'm thinking of it, it, yeah, am I wrong to assume that it, you'd need a leatherworking tools to fix the balloon? What, what's the balloon made of? That makes sense. I had the tools, tools because that's how I made uh, all the dolls and uh, Reed's mask. It makes sense that it would be made of uh, leatherworking for of leather, like something that leatherworking tools can repair. Uh, I will go ahead and ask you, because Reed can cast a fly on you, uh, to make one uh, leatherworking tools with dexterity and one with wisdom. Okay, dexterity and wisdom. All right, leather tool. Query. I query. I qu oh shit. <laughs> That's on a different screen, ain't it? Yeah, it's, it kind of goes below it, yeah. Dexterity. Mm -hmm. And wisdom. And now I gotta hit all these X's because I got impatient and clicked it multiple times. Okay, so. It actually takes like a couple castings of fly to get. Because when it gets close to the end, you kind of have to come back down so you can re uh, cast it on you. But uh, you managed to repair the holes. And you don't really use any leather to do so. We just kind of patch the holes like back together, how they were. Okay, hey, great. We don't have to stay here too long. It did Ooh. take you like an hour or so. Yeah, I'm still gonna have my helm of comprehension on and probably my sailor outfit just in case. <laughs> sailor outfit. Yeah. You, you know what, uh, Ezra? I just had an idea. What, what is that? What if we hire someone that had two jobs? Like, one to help us fly it, and two, what if they were a carpenter that knew how to fix the wood part of a ship? Wouldn't be a bat too bad of an idea. We'd have to... We would probably have to... We'd obviously have to go into Evelyn and see if there's... Find anybody looking for work. Yeah, we'll put out a memo for a, for a, car, for a carpenter great though i would say what's i know it's, it may sound a little uh, uh it may sound a little silly uh a little extra precautious but we may want to put it and see if maybe we still try to put it through the hoppers and see, uh, so that we ensure we're not just hiring some you know someone that is up to no good and we just don't know it yet Excellent. And I, I, I can definitely agree with that. Oh, God. I, I did not do this intentionally. It keeps all coming back to Gregory. <laughs> so, someone that knows magic, someone who has tool, proficiency with carpentry tools. Do you know Gregory has those proficiencies? No, but he'd be the perfect fit. <laughs> Potentially, but, you know, he also has his own things to shit to do. Oh, yeah, definitely. He yeah. has the guild. Exactly. No, it's, just, it's just hilarious thinking about how many problems he fixes. <laughs> but, anyway. yeah, we can, if you want, we can... Some of us can go into Everland, and some of us can stay here if they wish, but we can go in really quick and speak to uh, speak to the... the Reed's boss, I can never remember his name ever. And Crowen? We can speak to Crowen and see if he would even entertain the idea of putting out a uh, a memo out there. That if there's anyone looking for looking to ride in a floating aircraft and repair it. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely down for that. Uh, does Reed know anywhere where we could park in Everland? Uh, he recommends the outskirts. 
I mean, if you wanted to, you guys could park where they're building your tower. That's true. And just walk a day to Everland. Like the rest of the day to Everland. Yeah, that, that'd work. Because, let's see, it would only take you, like, half a day, roughly, okay. to get there. Uh, also, they, uh, who knows, maybe uh, the King and Queen had our, like, ring uh, shipped to our tower. Who knows? I mean, I don't even have to go all the way to Fair or Falbar. <laughs> Anyway, t tower sounds good to me if you guys want to park ship there. Yeah, we can park it there. You think you'll be safe? Oh, yeah. There, there's like a, a big group of dwarf workers that will be near it all the time. Oh, we may even be able to pay them to fix it up a little bit more. Hey, that they, there may actually be one of our the, the potential worker we're looking for. <laughs> uh, sir, we work with stone. <laughs> I also work with stone. <laughs> if only I knew the spell fabricate. You know someone who does. If only I knew fabricate. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho to, anywho, to the tower. Let's check on that progress anyway. Sounds good to me. Oh, I'm back on top of the deck now in my, tail in my sailor's outfit with the Helm of Comprehension, but uh, Ruby, Onyx, and Jasper are not with me. Yeah, they, they said they'd need a hundred days. It's been like nine. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's been a little while. Hey, uh, we're gonna park this here. Make sure no one steals it. <laughs> I'm kind of just gonna give you that like little wave, like, all right. Ah, excellent. So I can move the token just. Yeah, I guess the one there. Okay, then. Is everyone ready to walk? <laughs> I'll hold Reed's hand and nod. I know these are dark times for us. Reed's probably pulling out the magic carpet. He's probably just like, uh, I'm not walking. I'll get in the carpet, too. I'm, I'm actually surprised Reed's never learned uh, Phantom. I'm life. actually, I'm checking to see if he did. <laughs> he did. If he you knew he was going to be walking, he would have prepared it. <laughs> Wait, what did he know? <laughs> so, like, every hour, uh, he stop, he, he, y'all stop, and uh, Reed cast, uh, Ritual casts Phantom Steed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, Reed, Ritual casts Phantom Steed. Um, because he has that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. How far out is it again? Sorry. Uh, it's about 20 miles. Ah, then I will also summon my steed then. Alright. Chores can only carry one person, can't they? Uh, a horse can carry two. Also, you have a panther. I'm oh. leaving the panther, pseudo dragon, and the tressum in the hot air balloon. Oh my god! Actually, come to think of it, between Reed's horse, uh, Leon's horse, and Ruby's panther, we all have mounts. I'm not. Ruby's <laughs> not coming with us. Ruby, a jaded Jasper, and Onyx are staying back in the warship. Oh, uh, we have to walk then. Yeah, at least at least two people have to walk. But it's gonna be fine going for Leon and. Uh... Well, here's the thing. You guys got a carpet. It's slower, but it's at your normal walking pace. 
It's faster than walking. It's like a sec. It's way. slightly faster than walking. Like... I don't remember what yeah, speed that... I gave you. But let's see. Um. 40. Yeah, no one has to walk. <laughs> so Wait, it's a uh, Reed and Badger on the Phantom Steed. Ulchara and Ezra on the carpet, and then Leon on his regal steed. God, we must look like the biggest group of weirdos right now. A see-through horse, horse this regal uh, steed, and a flying carpet. Just... <laughs> Good times. All right. You guys travel to Everland. You'd have to yeah, camp one night, but... Um... Uh, nothing eventful happens. Yeah, that's fine. I'll just finish the spell scroll. Oh, when you checked the tower, uh, your ring was not there. It's like we're going all the way to, uh, to fair, and then... That was going to be a very, very, very low chance of happening, and it didn't happen. <laughs> fair enough. Unless you want to tell me a number between 1 and 100. Uh, 62? Nope. I mean, if you get it right, I might give it to you. <laughs> but, uh, no, he did not give it. It's a 21. Heading over. I have to say, we're making, I'm making some good progress on these spell scrolls right now. You gotta be close to out of ink. Uh, I got enough ink for five more scrolls. Jesus. So since, we, since we started traveling, I've made uh, three. Mostly because that one time we got a, I got a full eight hours in, uh, in Triborg. Okay. I might have to limit that in the future. Oh, but that's not for now. But yes, you arrive in Everland, bright and early. Better with her sailor outfit and helmet. Magic helmet, if you will. That covers the face. And the hair. Cue a Looney Tune skit. But she's not hunting a rabbit. Very, very quiet. Oh! I'm not even get into that right now with Elmer Fudd and Yosemite Sam, what they're trying, if not have, attempted to do. So ridiculous. Yes, you're in Everland! Hooray! Yay! Yay! Uh, now it's time to get some hired help. I hate you all. Do you, though? I don't want to even be here, so why do you hate me? I got outvoted. I just, I just do. And the map is just for funsies. You know where we're going. I know where you're going. Oh boy, we're going to get to drink some teleporting ale. I think I'm going to build a forgetful character every time I play D&D, &D, so that way when I do forget stuff, it's not me forgetting, it's my character forgetting, and I feel a lot better about it. Yeah, that that's the reason I do it. <laughs> I'm learning. This is only my, what, fourth character I ever made for D&D? I'm learning. All right, you guys drink the fancy wine. And... Gotta find a thing. Are we going to the Dressum Wizard? Yeah. Sweet. If I would have known that, I would have brought a... 
Onyx with me so he could see everyone again. He, he won't let you have any more cats. Oh, I know. I still have problems so you can see his, all of his uh, siblings and stuff again. Look, I played it. Didn't you buy yours? No, he liked me. I rolled high enough. Uh, Rizwin had to Rizwin. buy it. Yeah, Rizwin had it, but after she convinced it, after I talked to it. Is the teleporting wine good? It's not bad. Huh. Satisfied. Although this does say something about Reed's, like, workplace that everyone's drinking on the job. <sighs> it's not like they're getting drunk off of it. It's just, like, a small sip to get, like, yeeted into the tower. God, what if someone just developed a taste for this kind of wine? As the camera turns to Badger. Wait, what'd I do? Nothing. Also, I wonder if, Who we brought, about? if we brought this wine with us to like Waterdeep or something and drunk it, would we go back here? Well, that is a good thought. I'm afraid it doesn't work that way. Right. Crowan says. No. Uh, what? The, what? The next thing you're going to tell me, it's the mug and not the actual wine. <laughs> oh, no, it's the wine. So then, I bet you're wondering why we're here. It's a little curious, I suppose. Did you enjoy your vacation? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, we saw an apple. And drow. <laughs> oh, and drow, yeah. Hmm. And, and we rescued Ude. I'm assuming she's an archmage. She, she was incredibly fucking powerful. <laughs> yeah, we rescued her from madness. So, it was a pretty good vacation. Oh, plus we got to stay at the Yawning Portal. Oh, that's always a good time. A little expensive, but yeah. It was worth it. So you all dipped, huh? Oh, yes. Yeah, that's an easy way into the... Into the dark, uh, under dark, I suppose. Oh, and we met our good uh, buddy Jibber Jabber there. He was fun. I don't know a Jibber Jabber. Eh, uh, kind of hard to explain. I know the, I know, uh, like... The Abolith was like just kind of something I mentioned, but Jibber Jabber, he was a whole thing. <laughs> Any, anywho, the reason we're here, hmm, we're actually looking to hire someone. Hire? For what kind of, uh... uh we need someone who can repair a ship. What, like a bosun? A bosun? A flying ship. A flying ship? Oh. Right. You had one of those. Oh, we, we have another one now. Okay. So what happened to the other one? Uh, Fire giants. Right, right, right. But we, we bought this one in Waterdeep, so, yeah. We're a little worried of, that it's a little bit under repair sometimes, or, like, that it would get damaged, so we're, we also need someone that could learn to help pilot it as well, but primarily we would hope that they would be able to fix it. Like, at least the wooden parts. While talking, I would love to be in the middle of a cat's pile, just kind of chilling out. Yeah. Keeping my helmet on, of course. Absolutely. Uh, I'm not just making any assumptions. Uh, am I, is there, or was there something else we wanted to? 
Well, it was is more we we the reason we came to you was we just wanted oh. to make sure whoever we we brought on board is trustworthy. I mean, most people when they see a flying ship, oh, their they mouths go agape. We need someone oh. that's trustworthy and that's not gonna try to do anything mischievous. But yes, we're looking for someone that can uh, repair the ship, uh, patch up the wood and such, and also uh, potentially can learn how to pilot it so that our transition times are a little more smoother. Oh yeah, it's super easy to learn. We all learned it by watching cultists. Well, um, that's certainly an interesting proposition, I suppose. Um, a flying ship. Talking about flying ships, I like to pretend one of the cats is a plane and start running around with it. Pretending it's flying it does the not seem to enjoy it. <laughs> What's a plane? I will stop and I will cuddle the cats at an apology. And make friends in peace. Like a plane of land? Or a plane of existence? That'd be a hard game to play. <laughs> I will need to think about it and see if I know anyone, I guess. Do you just be looking to hire someone from us? Uh, either from you or, like, someone that you would recommend. Because I mean, that's not really the kind of work that we do. Uh, I guess I could ask around for you. We Can't... just... We just didn't want to just hire anybody off the street and, uh... Either, you know, considering what they're probably going to experience on the road. Oh, yeah. Odds are you're looking to... Yeah, someone has probably have to pay him pretty well. How much is uh, pretty well? That depends on the individual. I'm not quite sure. I told you, Polchar, we're probably going to have to hire a mercenary. Oh. But they cost so much. Yeah, but no... And, and no same common is going to take it for... Uh, going to take a silver, uh, a silver a week as payment. Okay, uh... I, I'll make... Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, compromise, Ezra. I'd like to add something to it. If they are a mercenary, they must also uh, be trained in using a ballista or a harpoon gun. Well, if that's the case, Polchara, I know it may sound a little crazy, but why don't we just uh, put the wood out? He and Evelyn. Like, make flyers? Yes. We won't say anything about flying ships. We're just going to say, looking for a ship maintenance, uh, ship maintenance person, experience with ballista slash cannon work. I, I guess we could just say siege weaponry. Yes, we'll say person, a uh, person must have experience with siege weaponry as well. And then we can go from there. Okay. Hmm. Well, we're gonna need some paper. God, how how long are we gonna be in Everland? Now that I think of it. 
what we could do is um they I mean they do use a they do use a tavern as a sort as a sort of a front for for here. Why don't we post it in this tavern? That way whenever they find someone on the radar, they can message us or Crow and can message Reed so that we know when someone's interested. They can sending us. <laughs> exactly. Uh, and what we could do is we could make a flyer for them and make a flyer for Town Crier and uh, or uh, a messenger boy or whatever and have them spread the word around the city and tell them where to go if they want, if they're interested. All right, that sounds good. Uh, I'll make the flyer for uh, the tavern. You make the one for the uh, town crier. <laughs> Let's see here. I'm assuming we have the ink and stuff on the ship. I put her. I can make ink. I can make ink. A small amount to need this. Sure, I'll give a shit. Fish is like, I'm just so done with this. I, I, I kind of am. <laughs> <laughs> How many gold of ink? Uh, <laughs> none. <laughs> I will let you make enough for this assignment with your alchemy joke, and that's it. Okay, once okay. I, uh, once, uh, do, do we have to make a roll to how well we do the flyer? <laughs> oh, God. Sure. Sure, that sounds like fun. Um, <laughs> make a dex check for artistic uh, capability. Oh boy, I did so well. <laughs> um, no, no, I can reroll it with luck. Okay. Uh, of course. Any chance? I can ah, use there we go. <laughs> Any chance I can use performance? I will let you. Ah. Uh... Uh, if you had calligraphers tools or painters tools all right that's pretty good um now this next one should be easy for both of you charisma checks okay and one more. Let's think here. <laughs> Let's just go with an intelligence check. Nineteen. <laughs> that was not worth the using a luck point, but all right. You got one left, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you have the All lucky right. feet? <laughs> uh yeah i do oh okay um okay let me make some notes for myself here uh you wanted one for the town crier yeah i was just i was i was in charge of making the one for the town crier and pochar was making one for the tavern all yep. right. Well, the one for Charmage looks pretty good. Yeah, it has all the information uh, needed, and all the list of experience, and it, it looks very professional. Yeah, unfortunately, it looks like Ezra's is... Well, he doesn't know it, but it's missing uh, a couple things. An address of where to <laughs> of where to contact us. What the job actually requires. Looking for help. Here's the address. Here's the pay. It's missing the second part. <laughs> oh lord. Well, I know. Well, I was gonna. I planned on explaining to the town crier anyways a little bit of information so that it would be a little bit easier. 
Yeah, but you completely forgot about uh, <laughs> adding like the pay and stuff to it. Well, that's the one thing I wasn't sure. We Char and I didn't really discuss how much we were willing to pay, anyways. So it completely does not talk about anything about pay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> internship. Get some experience. But mine has written on it, pay negotiable. Yeah, okay. Uh, so I'm assuming there's nothing I could I could say extra to the Hound Crier that, that would make... Nothing would, you would thought of, that. no. All right. <laughs> Yeah, the dex check was just for like the how well you could do it. The charisma check was for how you could, how well you read. And intelligence check for was for the content. So kind of like a skill challenge almost, but uh, I'm gonna hand those off and uh, we're ending the session on another strange note. Not really a cliffhanger or anything exciting, just... <laughs> I think we got a lot done. I'm excited to see who answers the sad. Here's the cliffhanger. Also, also walks in. Guess who's the first applicant? The lady we tried to burn her house down <laughs> with as we stole all her magical item. Or the woman elf. Elf that I mistaken as a man. I need... Don't oh, worry, they're in other cities. It's you! Oh, they're in other cities, it's fine. Hmm. Badger's elementary school teacher. Oh, nothing Badger related. <laughs> nope. It'd be, it'd be funny if Sky suddenly came back and the one person you hire is Rizwin. <laughs> oh, that makes me sad thinking about it now. Yeah. <laughs> I hope she's She'll doing alright. She'll come back when time's right. Yeah, I hope she's doing alright. I see her post once in a while on Facebook. Oh, that's so. good. Yeah, we'll go ahead and end it here, everyone. Thank you all so much for watching. We appreciate it. Uh, thank you, Felic, for the follow earlier. I apologize we didn't mention it, but it's kind of the nature of the beast, I'm, I'm afraid. But yes, thank you for the follow. To those of you who went, who went in chat that weren't bots, thank you for watching. To those who are just idling and weren't bots, thank you for watching. We appreciate it. And we will see you all next week for some more of this. I have to figure out what the fuck I'm doing. Hey, you all. <laughs> we love you too. <laughs> Bye. Not you, the viewers. I don't hate you, the viewers. I hate these guys. But yes, see you next time. Have a good night. Bye, everybody. Bye, darlings. For real this time.